join us as we explore Bendigo in regional Victoria. The Central Deborah Gold Mine operated from 1939 to 1954 and extracted 929 kilos of gold worth about $70 million today. Underground tours depart daily. Growing restless oh, yeah. in the way. <laughs> Searching for the bright day. Leaving yesterday behind. Oh, oh. Looking forward to the light. Bendigo Josh House Temple opened in 1871 and is one of the few remaining buildings of its type in Australia. Talking Trams is the quickest way to learn about Bendigo's history and see the city's key landmarks and monuments. Indigo Chinese Gardens of Joy are based on the Imperial Palace in Beijing. The Golden Dragon Museum houses the oldest intact processional dragon in the world and also what is thought to be the longest golden dragon in the world. I found you brand new sky is blue. When I'm with you. The conservatory was erected in 1897 and is the last of its type in a public park in Victoria. Throughout the year, floral and foliage displays are on show. The Bendigo Ghost Tour runs most Saturday evenings and can be booked at the Visitor Information Centre. Now, these ghosts are seen popping up in alleyways. The Sacred Heart Cathedral commenced construction in 1896 and is architecturally of the English Gothic style.
Hoppet Head Tower was used to process mine tailings during the Gold Rush. It was moved to its current location in 1931 to be used as a lookout. The Great Stupa of Universal Compassion is the largest stupa in the Western world and also houses the world's largest gemstone quality Jade Buddha. We hope you enjoyed our highlights of Bendigo and make sure you subscribe to see our next video as we explore Australia.